What's up, Wayne Barron here with uh, my vlog, and we are still working on the 2001 Ford Taurus, and um, we still got an overheating issue. So what's going on now is that I can run the car for about, oh shoot, probably about 40 minutes, and it doesn't overheat, doesn't do anything. I drive it up and down the road, do whatever, but once I cut on the AC, within just a matter of 15, 20 seconds, uh, the temperature gauge starts to go up. And so I've had people tell me to go ahead and do a block test on it. And so I went ahead and went over to AutoZone and got rented out their block test kit. And so this is basically all that comes in it. You got the squeegee and this right here. So this right here is going to be going inside of either your radiator or in my case, it's going to be going inside the fuel tank. And then we put in this stuff right here, which is the blue uh, block test fluid. Uh, test for combustible gases in your coolant. Uh, fluid turns yellow when the exhaust gases are present. So we're hoping that it stays blue. And so uh, in the case of if you're pregnant, blue I reckon means that you're pregnant. So we're hoping that the car remains pregnant and the mosquitoes stop eating me. So let's go ahead and do this test and let's see if it'll stay blue on us. So we'll cross our fingers. And so a lot of the stuff that I've seen has shown that, uh, I'm going to move the camera over here, has shown that the, that if you got gases that there's bubbling in the, uh, that there's bubbling in the, uh, inside the fuel tanker, inside the radiator, and that if you take off the cap, that it bubbles. Well, I have never seen that. The only time it bubbles is whenever... The car has run for a long time and I cut it off and then the bubbles go back inside. And so that's the only time it's ever bubbled. So uh, we're going to put the fluid into right there and then this right here uh, goes in there and then basically we sit down, we pump it up, but this is going to sit right inside there. Now you got to drain out your fluid, but you don't want to drain it all the way out. If you want to keep some water inside of the vehicle so basically this is going to stick right there it's got a nice tight fit on it so it's going to go right there and then it's going to stick right there our fluid level is going to go right there so let's put some fluid in it and this is our fluid uh, the stuff that I've seen on certain tests has it as a darker fluid than this so I'm hoping this is pure and there's no problems with it so let's go ahead and pour it in there I mean, that is just, it's a very, that's just really, really, really light. I mean, that's just crazy light. So, as you can see there, I mean, that's ridiculous. But, I mean, it is blue, so we're, we're hunting for a green or a yellow. But, I mean, that's just crazy light. So, let's go ahead and crank up the car, let it run for a little while, and then let's test out our gases. Okay, uh, we've let the car run for uh, about 15 minutes. Let it warm up a little bit. Let's go ahead and do this. This thing's got such a tight suction on it that whenever you start squeezing it, sometimes you gotta lift it up in order to, to redo the test again because it's, the suction is just way too tight. So I mean, it is still blue. So let's see if I can see it here. Hey, look, it still as blue as it can get. So I'm going to keep on doing it a couple more times just to make sure. But it seems like uh, there's no gases in it. So let's do it a few more times. Mm. 
Okay. Like I said, it seems like, uh, as you can tell, it, it is nice and blue still. So there's no gases in there. There's no green, no nothing. So that is a very, very, very good sign. We are blue. So that, I reckon that means that we're pregnant. So let's remain pregnant. Okay. We are finished up with that test. And uh, it is nice and blue still. We did it about probably a total of maybe 50 or 60 pumps. Uh, however, whenever you put it inside of the field tank, the suction gets so tight to where the plunger no longer plunges. So you squeeze it and then it doesn't pop back out. So what you got to do is that you got to pop it out from the field tank and then slide it back in and then you can sit there and you can pump it up again. It takes about five or six pumps each time and that's about all that we could get there. So thanks for watching. And I have my son calling, so I'm going to answer the phone now. Yep. You called just at the end of my video.